New research is challenging conventional theories by showing old growth forests play a major role in curbing global warming, giving a boost to the carbon offset market and changing the way some forests are managed. There is a paradigm that um, old forests are carbon neutral and that's not necessarily the case. Bev Law is a pioneer in the field of eddy flux research. Worldwide, about 500 sites like this one near Corvallis, Oregon, use space-age instruments to measure carbon dioxide levels in the forest floor, where it turns out about 70% of forest respiration takes place. For decades, foresters have used wood volume as a measure of carbon storage, but that's not the whole picture. What they're measuring is the trunk of the tree that can be used to generate lumber. They're ignoring the leaves, the branches, the twigs, the roots, the soil. And all those things, Bev Law has shown, play a major role in carbon exchange. Sharon Levy has featured Law's research in her recent cover story for On Earth magazine about the bigger role forests could play in capturing CO2 from the atmosphere, storing carbon, and mitigating global warming. She's got a stethoscope to the lungs of the forest. It's when there's a little more turbulence near the ground, yeah. Law's researchers use smoke generators to map airflow through the trees yeah. and anemometers That's to measure wind near the ground okay. as well as above the forest canopy. They know how fast trees are growing and how much water they use, and the data they collect gives them a detailed picture of exactly how a forest so breathes. About 80% of the carbon dioxide that goes into an ecosystem <laughs> through photosynthesis leaves, and that's at the cost of maintenance, the cost of doing business. Um, but still, 20% per year, pretty much, stays in the system. That 20% each year over time accumulates a lot more carbon than was previously thought. And now there's a new market for it. Money can grow on trees if you allow the trees to grow. Under California's new rules, managers of the Van Eck Redwood Forest sold 60,000 tons of carbon offsets to a New York company and still cut nearly a million board feet of timber last year. Now they have two sources of revenue from the forest. And we do that by managing those forests to be older and restoring their natural carbon capacity. So the research says it in theory and Van Eck shows it in practice. The Van Eck model is not something most timber companies are likely to adopt until the price of carbon offsets is higher, closer to what they can get for selling their logs. But if the carbon market does develop into a major source of revenue, it will depend on hard data from eddy flux research like this, including highly accurate measurements with new laser instruments covering very large areas. Among the findings of this research, clear-cutting a forest releases huge pulses of CO2 into the atmosphere. And if trees were allowed to grow for longer periods, domestic forests could absorb more carbon from automobiles and power plants, enough to reduce CO2 emissions in the United States by 25%. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.